everybody, my name is Courtney and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a quick seedling update. Um, I have to go watch my sister's kids because um, she's off in Vegas with her husband, so I don't have a ton of time, but let's go check out how these seeds are going so far. So as you can see, those um, five rows are all of my peppers, and they have not sprouted yet. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty typical for peppers. They take quite a while to sprout. Um, but right here are all of my Brussels sprouts, um, which are doing really well. This one is a little leggy, and this one, um, I don't know what happened to that one, but... Oh well, you can't win them all. Um, next are the four tomatoes that I grew last year, which have pretty much all sprouted. I have Roma, New Yorker, um, Chadwick, and Tommy Toe. And um, some of these are super leggy. So what I did is I moved my lights down and... Um, I added a fan over here to kind of just blow some air onto the seedlings to get them a little bit stronger. Um, and then these are all of the new tomatoes that I'm growing. So these are growing a little bit um, slower. And I did just bottom water, bottom water these. So um, I know they look really dry on top, but. Um, I did just water them, I promise. <laughs> so, these are my pineapple tomato, um, my pink brandywine, my old German, which is probably doing the best out of all of them. Um, this is the Tiny Tim. This is the micro tomato plant. It only gets like 12 inches tall. This is Tess's current cherry tomato something and I only have two of these so these are really tiny still I have the Amina um, I still don't know what these are called but um, they're doing pretty well I have the peach next to it um, these are the green zebra tomatoes so these are the yellow tomatoes with bright green um, stripes in them and then I have the chocolate striped tomatoes and um, my Aunt Molly's ground cherries still have not sprouted yet but I'm hoping that um, they will sprout somewhat soon and then over here in this lone tray are the purple tomatillos Last year I had um, my seedlings under storage containers to keep the moisture in and I will tell you that probably worked way better than what is happening right now. So I am brainstorming on ways to kind of keep moisture in with the seedlings at least for a little bit while longer until um, they get a little bit bigger and the leaves cover the soil so that the lights don't um, make all of the water evaporate out of them. So if you have any ideas, please let me know down below in the comment section because um, I thought about doing plastic wrap, but I don't want it to get too hot and melt. Um, so if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. I have to go watch my two nieces. So I will see you in the next one. Bye!